Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Microsoft Silverlight is not working or it says it's already been installed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to go ahead and just walk up on the start menu or however you want to normally open up Internet Explorer. I'm just going to type it into the start menu search and we're just going to open up Internet Explorer here as you would any normal web browser. And you want to left click on the gear icon near the top right corner of the browser screen. And then you want to go down and left click on manage add-ons. Where it says show, you want to click inside this drop down to select all add-ons. Underneath Microsoft Corporation, there should be something that says Microsoft Silverlight. Just want to left click on that, and if it's currently disabled, you want to left click on this enable button right down here. So if it says disabled down here, that means it's already turned on. So I'm going to just enable it by left clicking on that one time. Close out of here, and then hopefully that should be able to resolve the problem. If you're still experiencing problems, you can go ahead and click on the gear icon in Internet Explorer. Go down to Internet Options near the bottom of the drop down list. You want to go left click on the Advanced tab. And then you want to go and left click on Reset underneath Reset Internet Explorer Settings. Resets Internet Explorer Settings to their default condition. Left click on the Reset button. You want to delete Personal Settings in here and then left click on Reset. And once you're done with this, you're going to just go have to restart your browser. Just give it a moment here. Should be green check marks when you're done resetting the browser. Close. Click on OK. You will have to restart your computer. So just restart your computer and restart the browser. And hopefully that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.